two views of a line is given. So we are told to draw okay, uh, to detect the horizontal and vertical traces. All right, that is the very first thing we are going to do. Also, we are told to get the true angle of inclination to the horizontal plane and the vertical plane. And we are also told to find the true length of that line. All right. So the very first thing you are going to do is to reproduce the question, which is what you are seeing on the screen right now, already reproduced. Then the very first question there is to uh, get the horizontal and the vertical traces. All right. So remember, in line is space. This upper part here is the what is the vertical uh, plane, which is also the elevation. And from the elevation, I am going to project uh, the extension downward wherever the extension uh, crosses the x y plane. All right, then it's touching the uh, line on the horizontal axis. All right, horizontal plane. That is our that is our uh, horizontal plane. All right. What I am trying to say is this. So this very line now. Yeah, I'm going to complete this line downward here. All right, this way. Then this line also. I'm going to what complete it also this way to cut through the what the x y plane to cut through the x y plane all right so so this is where the line from the elevation touches the x y plane then i'm going to what project it to the what to the vertical plane all right so from this area down here okay so automatically this junction is our what is our horizontal trace denoted with what with ht why this line from the plan here you understand this is where it crosses the what the xy plane so from the point of its intersection on the xy plane i'm going to what also project it downwards touching the line which comes from the what, which comes from the vertical axis so and this is where it intersects and this is my what this is my vertical trace all right so after doing that the next is i'm going to get my true shape okay so developing my true shape uh my true shape on uh the horizontal plane the horizontal axis what am i going to do the very first thing i'm going to do is that on this particular axis here i am going to draw a line perpendicular to this particular line all right to line on the horizontal plane and that is what i'm doing. okay so i'm going to do that on the two axis sorry on the two end of the line on the two end of the line and that is it these are the lines so what else am i going to do now what i'm going to do is that from my xy plane yeah i'm going to bring the data from xy plane to the starting point here okay to this area and i'm going to what interpret it here okay then also from the xy plane here to this area here okay which is this to this area here i'm going to do the same thing on this axis okay, which here. is here right here right after doing that i am going to what join yeah i'm going to join okay yeah so i've gotten the true length yeah the true length of the line here so the next thing i am going to do is that i'm also going to draw a parallel line such as this at this particular point here all right okay so then i'm going to measure the angle the angle here so the angle gotten here is going to be my angle of inclination to the was to the horizontal plane okay so horizontal plane angle so as you can see the angle to the horizontal plane is what is 27 degree yeah angle to the horizontal plane Is what 27 degree okay also to get the true length and angle of inclination on the vertical plane the very first thing we are going to do is that we are going to draw a perpendicular line here yeah, at both ends of the vertical plane line all right Okay, after doing that, the next procedure is that I'm going to pick from my XY plane, yeah, 
to the starting point of this horizontal plane here then placing it here i'm going to i'm going to mark it out today all right so then likewise on this axis from my xy plane i extend it to this area here okay then i'm going to what replicate the same thing right here all right and so this is my second one so automatically this is my true length on the what on the vertical plane here this is my true length there okay after doing that i'm drawing a line parallel to this from the starting point here okay so the angle from here to here yeah the angle here is the angle of inclination to the what to the vertical plane yeah okay vertical plane and all right okay and angle to the vertical plane vp is what is 24 degrees all right while our true length yeah our true length is what true length equals to plus or minus 101 millimeters all right so that is the solution to this particular question kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it thank you